Hello guys, welcome back to another quick video of Dylan Hacks. Today I'll be able to get the uh, this VFD display uh, MN 15439A. At least right now I can properly send the data to the display and I can display some nicey pattern pattern that my camera cannot focus on that because it's too bright. Let me just do something here. So anyway. So the code, I'm still working on it. I'm going to uh, do things more like uh, update the comment part. But yeah, it's just a quick video. I'm going to, I'm telling you that at least I'll be able to get this partially working. Other thing to do is just back in thing in the C code that um, thing to do with uh, mm, data array so that sort of a uh, simple thing not quite a simple thing because I actually oh, it's out of focus anyway so I actually want to move from STM8 to STM32 like I'm gonna give uh, the test with this one uh, to not focus again so this is a STM32 of 303 uh, discovery board this thing is really powerful damn powerful and way more powerful than that 8-bit my controller so I need to write the code rewrite the code again or maybe just use uh, the same code that I've done in the VFD32 project that's still in still not working so at least I have a guideline I know how to send data a total of 288 bits or about 36 bit uh, 36 bytes if I do math correctly so anyway thank you for watching this quick video just stay tuned for that because right now I really busy but if I have a time I will come back and surely to visit this project and I really want to see this display not up up and running only with this thing but also with my the my F1C100 as Linux board it would be nice if I can do that just hope that I can do that. So anyway, thank you again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.